Maybe in the whole wide world. Yes, you are. But you know what? We can't send a picture in because that just wouldn't be... It just wouldn't be fair to all the other little babies. Mm -mm. Which one did you care about what's fair? Mm -hmm. Did you say something? I said you better go fix your hair. We're going to be late. All right. Mm -hmm. <sighs> You're the cutest, Mrs. Adorable Baby in the whole wide world. It's twice as adorable as you'll ever be. We're going to announce the winner of the cutest baby contest. I've got the envelope right here, Reed. Okay, open it already. End America's suspense. Okay, and the winner of the cutest baby contest is... Jack Kramer Manning. Is that your final answer? Wait a minute, wait a minute, Kelly. Who is this? I don't know, but she's gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. Jack Kramer Manning looks like a dog next to her. Oh, I'd say a major bow wow. Give this kid the award. But Regis, she's not a baby. Who cares? She was a baby once. The trophy is here. Here you go. Thank you, Regis. Thank you, Kelly. And I'd like to thank all the little people who helped make me so adorable. Star, you look like the cat who swallowed the canary. What's going on? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking about my favorite TV show. Come on, I gave birth to Natalie. She's my daughter. No, Jessica is your daughter. Natalie went out of her way to hurt Jessica. I don't like it when people hurt people. Oh, really? But it's actually kind of nice that you feel that way about Jessie. Yeah, now that I know that Jessica's not really related to you, I can see why I felt that way about her. You're just a silver-tongued devil, aren't you? All charm. Well, she doesn't hassle me like you do. She doesn't lecture me. Yeah, she doesn't know you as well as I do. Either that or maybe you're just a... Uh, what? I don't know. Maybe I should just shut up. Good, Good idea. idea. Uh, excuse me, folks. Pardon the interruption. Mr. Davis, may I speak yeah. to you? Sure. Is something officer. wrong? He's just uh, dropping off the waiter. What kind of a waiter needs a police escort? Well, the kind that's paying off part of its 50 hours of court-ordered community service owed to me. Bring him in, officer. Uh, Mr. Buchanan. Right this way, sir. <sighs> Oh, absolutely. Ace, after you wash your hands, you can take all the hors d'oeuvres and transfer them to the larger silver platters. Oh, my dead body. It's your dead body that got you in this mess in the first place. Let me get this straight. Ace is the gator waiter. So said Judge Fitzwater when she sentenced him to 150 hours of community service for faking his own death. Yeah, well, I can't wait till her re-election comes up. She doesn't come up for re-election. Garçon, I would really like some more of those little quiche things. I really love those. Stop it, Manning. You stuff it. You stuff the little mushrooms. You know what? I think I'll have a Bloody Mary, extra spicy, with two little celery sticks. You shut up. Uh, come on. That's enough, Todd. Yeah, but you said he was the waiter. Yeah, but he's not a bartender and he's not a slave. So give him a break. Jack Kramer Manning. Oh, Hello. Mrs. Davidson told me congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, look at that. Oh, Blair, he's gorgeous. Isn't he? Yes. Can I hold him? Yes, you I may. Can. In fact, you can help me. You grab him and I'll take oh, his no, 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 no. You oh, don't get to you touch go. him. You don't oh, get to. Todd, Todd, no, Todd, you don't Todd. get to touch him because I don't like you. Please, Todd. Well, I don't like you either. Or I do like your son. Probably because he doesn't have any of your genes in him. No offense, Star. If my daddy doesn't like you, then I don't like you either. Star Manning. Hey, hey, hey you know what? We gotta go inside. What? Gotta drop stuff on the ground and then get the cater waiter to pick it up. What? You'll understand. Come on. Uh, excuse us. Mm hmm What? I'm your Uncle Todd. Yeah, the rapist. You got a big mouth. Well, I get that from uh, the woman that raised me, Roxy, Jessica's real mother. Word of advice, you want to survive in this family, you stay on my good side. What? You mean you have a good side? Don't mess around with Jessica. Well, I would never do that. Jessica's going to be my real sister. I wouldn't dream of hurting her. Prove it. Fine. I'll prove it. 
And that was Jessica's first word. I can't believe you told that story. You're not. Yes, what? Jess. Hi. Um, I, I got this for you. A little bit more. That's disgusting. You know, I'm really not buying Natalie's nicey nice act. Yeah, well, you know what? I don't think it's an act. Come on, you better than anyone should understand how difficult it is to overcome a bad child and give her a break. <laughs> Whatever. The thing I don't get is how you didn't know that Allison gave you the wrong baby. I mean, even back then, they could not have looked alike. I mean, I think a mother should really know what her own baby looks like. <laughs> yes, she should. <laughs> oh, Vicky, what a lovely party. Thank We're you. We're having such a great time. Oh, I'm so glad. Good. But you know what? I'm really interested in where did you, what agency actually did you go through for your wait staff? Huh? A very temporary one. <laughs> Mr. Jack. <laughs> I'm so glad you came. Thank you. <laughs> and here she is, the lady of the hour. You having fun, honey? Yes, of oh, course good, I am. Good, I good. cannot believe how delicious he is. What do you got? Who stinks? What? Todd? Oh, you got to... I mean, before the ceremony, don't you think? Well, well, check him. I don't know. <laughs> Excuse me, Todd. Chipotle. Hi. Hi. You know, we just have to talk about some final arrangements. Oh, you mind? sure. Excuse me. It's your big day, huh? Yeah. Now you get to finally be what you've always already been. Yeah, go figure, huh? Right. I still get to be your uncle, right? Yes. Promise? Of course, I promise. No matter what? No matter what. Mm. Signed him in London, so I think that's all that's left to make this. Jen is my birth mother. Oh. Buchanan. Oh. Thank you so much. Okay. Blood Roxy's tests. Good. So, Jessica's a Buchanan again. Lucky her. Todd, we have a problem. Anything about Jack's genetic background. I mean, what if Nellie passed on some type of medical condition onto him? Well, she didn't. How do you know for well, sure? Look at him. It's not like he's got two heads or something. Well, he looks fine. But... You know, I would just feel better if, you know, if we found her and maybe did some type of genetic screening test or something. You can't make her do something like that. I don't think she's going to want to Well, we're not going to make her. We'll just call her and maybe ask her very nicely, tell her we'll pay for it. And... No. Come on. I mean, why not? Don't you want to know everything you can about Jack's past? I already do. I'm sure. Well, her word is nice, but the medical records would be better. Fine. I'll take care of it. We gotta go. Oh, I guess it's time we head home. Hey, wake up, come on. If I gotta stay awake for this thing, so do you. Sorry, I just got bored of everybody going goo-goo over Jack. Well, I think the term is ga-ga. Jack says goo-goo. Jack said goo-goo? Well, not quite Smart yet, Jack. <laughs> come on, sweetie, let's go to uh, Wait a second, home. Roxanne. You know, the truth of it is, I don't know where the hell I'm going. Dad? 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 Your daddy ventured to paper star. What about mommy? Your mommy went with your daddy. And what about Jack? Like, I don't know. Well, he went with them also? Yeah, 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 I know. He always gets to go everywhere with them. It's, like, so unfair. I bet they're having a lot of fun. Are you purposely putting off contacting Jack's birth mother for a medical record? No. No? Why do I get the feeling that maybe you are? I don't know, paranoia. Hey, Todd, I think Blair asked a perfectly good question. Why don't you want to...